Hi Diecast Racer fans, today we're going to jump back to 2003 and relive Peter Solberg and Philip Mills' season driving the Subaru Impreza WRC race car in the World Rally Championship. As I've done in previous videos, I'll state some stats and facts of the driver and the car during that year of racing and finish with a quick review of the 143 scale model of the car itself. In the year 2000, Peter Solberg left Ford halfway through the season for the Subaru team. With many retirements and some top 10 finishes that season, it is a year for Solberg to forget. In 2001, it was a similar year results-wise with retirements and top 10 finishes. There was a highlight, getting on the podium with a second place in Greece. To make 2001 worse, his teammate Richard Burns won the Drivers' Championship. In 2002, he came alive with his lowest finish being 6th place with 5 podiums which included his first WRC win at the last race in Great Britain. This was enough to make him best of the rest with 2nd in the driver's title race but 40 points behind the dominant Marcus Gronholm. He started 2003 with a retirement and it took Peter 7 races before his first rally win. This placed him way down the ladder with four of his competitors having won rallies. Reigning champion Marcus notched up three wins already. For Petter, this win would be the start of his comeback. He scored another four podiums, three of them on the top of the podium, which was enough to take the World Rally Drivers' Championship, but only just enough. This championship was decided in a nail-biter at the last round with Petter winning the rally beating Sebastian Loeb, who finished second in that race. This result gave Peter Solberg the championship by only one point from Sebastian Loeb. Peter became the first Norwegian to win the Drivers' Championship. Peter Solberg drove the Subaru Impreza WRC. The rally versions of the Impreza were quite successful for Subaru. During the mid-90s and the early 2000s, Three World Rally Constructors and three World Rally Drivers Championships were won. What made the Impreza unique was its four-cylinder boxer engine layout that gave it a distinctive exhaust note. All other competitors at the time had inline four-cylinder layouts. The difference between the two layouts is that the boxer engine's four cylinders are split with two positions completely opposite or 180 degrees to the other two with the crank in the center. An inline four-cylinder engine has all four cylinders together in a row. A unique feature of a rally car is seen here in the cockpit with the handbrake positioned high up close at hand so the driver can use it to lock the rear tires allowing the rear of the car to slide out helping the car rotate through tight turns. And now for a quick model review. Overall impressions are excellent with a heavy solid feel to it. The details and scale are great except for one curiosity. I don't know if the wheels and tyres are supposed to be so skinny on this model. They just look odd to me. Tell me in the comments what you think. Are they too skinny? Paint finish is great as are the decals. I really like the look of this metallic blue on this model. Thanks for watching, like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss my next video which will be on the Citroen Zara WRC car as driven by Colin McRae in the 2003's Monte Carlo Rally. Cheers.